Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me as we overlook our little town in Foundation. It's taking more and more shape. We have some newcomers. We have our island that we want to build a monastery on that's slowly being cleared out by our woodcutters. We have our fortress here that's taking shape. We've got our first soldiers already. But hey, there's still a lot more work to be done. We need an extra miner. We can use an extra market tender. That's always good. Now you see the flickerings. I've reported those to the devs. There's nothing we can do about it right now. It is what it is. So um, yeah, sorry about that. Can't help it. But uh, hopefully they can uh, fix that at some point. But for now, not possible. But at least we can play the game. And that's a lot of fun. As we are now making sure that um, everything keeps running. Weed farm build. Perfect. We have one worker available. So... Uh, Let's put him in and let's start telling this wheat farm that it can use this whole area for some wheat farming. Oh, that would be good. Ah, we also have the extra butcher now that I wanted for the extra meat because we do get an increased amount of boar. That's nice. We have wood for the elders. The elders are looking to repair a few bridges across the region. One of their merchants notes is your woodcutter. Uh, we can get 10 coins, 300 coins. Oh, we still have to spend some coins first, I think. Let's see if we can actually spend some coins. I think so. Let's do some prospecting. Can we also do a promotion for maybe a soldier or something? No, not really. All right, I'm not going to do any more promotions. Maybe we can buy a zone before we continue with this. Because then we have the room for actually... Oh, but what we can do is sounds like a deal. We can just end this mission soon enough. And that gives me a little time to... Oh, maybe we can go for this iron deposit as well. Ooh, also interesting. So many interesting options right now. Where to go, what to do. Yeah, I'm going to buy this, so... If we can. I oh, will buy two. One, two. That's it. Now we can fill out this mission. We get 300 coins. Yep. We get some coins here, but we don't need them actually because there's nothing we can unlock with it. These can be unlocked as soon as we have enough splendor, but we don't have enough splendor at this point. So that's not going to work out. So uh, yeah, we'll keep it there as it is. We have our soldiers on a mission, I think. So I uh, can't send them out. Yep, on a mission. Ah, I hope they're successful because then they might get us some nice extra goodies but hey let's work on this little place so that we can get the extra iron ore that i would love to have uh, because right now we seem to be running out of iron ore all the time and this extra mine could just mean the difference in getting us the iron ore we need so let's make sure we get that and ah, they're finishing this part of the church here. So then we can also finish up this area. I have ideas for that. Let me check if there's anything I want to use in here. No, there is. Yeah, maybe the um, arch, but I would rather have a gate. Oh, well, they use it as a gate, so that works. But if we go to the common decorations, there we also have the stone arch. Hmm. Let's go with the walls for now. I think here we should make the uh, the walls look a bit more like this. So that it's a bit like a bigger place. But I also want an arch here. And that we can build with the church. Somewhat like this. So that there's an opening in here too. But I don't want too many openings at the uh, church grounds. People just have to walk around it I think. So there we go. Let's build the arch there. And then from here on out. No. No, 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 no. That was not what I wanted to do. Come on. Yes. All right. Now let's see what we can do. There we go. And then we continue from here. like that and I believe now some people will start walking through because they had already planned their route 
but after a while they should stop doing that and they should be getting out on this side and then we have a completely walled off church ground see there's the first that's actually getting out there and right now and then we can later on put some graves and stuff in here so uh yeah i like this this looks like a real church ground plenty of play space for the people 210 people can go there so that's nice we have five newcomers very good two butchers two farmers then there's just one more that we don't give a job but um that should be fine at some point yeah we have plenty of fish so we don't need to worry about that And all else actually looks quite good. I really like that the um, whole industry here is now moved. Next up could be the stone industry. We could start to work on that as well. Give that a new place. Now, unfortunately, there's no stone close to here. That would be even more helpful, I guess. Uh, if we go to the zone, by the way. What we could do is take this out of the extraction zone for now so that at least all the other trees will get extracted first and then we can put this into the extraction i want these trees gone here and now i'm just looking for a nice stone deposit that is in a way close enough that we can actually oh maybe we can do it here and then build a little village here for the people that either work here or here Oh, that could be it. All right, let's go with that. Let's see. We need at least two stone cutters here. One, two, build. Then we're also going to need a warehouse here to store all the stones, of course. Yes. And we need those, uh, yeah, these stone cutters here. Also at least two then i think yeah they're already busy chopping the stones there so that should work and then we can remove this industry here too and that will help make it so that um the desirability of this area will go up because right now this is very undesirable also because of the uh boat yards or whatever the ship uh, the um fishing places but um, I think this will be good if we can at least get the stones out and make this a little bit more for housing. I think that will be helpful. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I think we can already tell them that they can create houses here if they really want to. Um, because this industry will be gone anyway. This is quite a bit out of the way if you take a look at it. See? So if this batch goes away, then we can build houses here. That is no issue. So I would be happy if they would do that. Let's get the extra people in. And we have a hunter that we can set out extra. So now we have three jobs available. But we're also making a couple of structures now. So having those is not really that bad. We have the builders up here. Our bailiff found another iron deposit. Now I wonder where. Oh, up here. And we also have gold here. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, we're going to build a nice little town in this area. Oh, that should be so much fun. Just have to wait a bit until those jobs come in. Yep, we can see the first house being built there. That's also good because people that work here will also want a house. They can now get it in this little area. That should be good. All right. And how is this? Ooh, this is now also taking shape. Now, we already have quite a few building projects going, but I want to start building the monastery here at some point. We'll start around this... Um, this little piece. Still not sure how we're going to do it. If we're going to do all of the monastery here. Or that we just build a part of the monastery here. And we'll build a part somewhere else. Where we can also get like a lot of berries and things like that. Now, I'm not 100% sure. But I don't think my soldiers are back yet. No, still on a mission. One is wounded. Ouch. And one is level one. So one leveled up. I guess it was a pretty easy mission for them. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, but still... I want them back and I want to see if they got me these spears that I was hoping for. And maybe we can also add some people to the monastery, to the uh, fort so that we get extra soldiers. But we're just not getting so many people in all the time. I'm a bit careful with that, I have to say. 
how are, ooh, there's the, yeah, we got four swords. Okay, no uh, spears, but we got the swords. Got some coins. Can we now unlock something? No. Oh, we can unlock some goodies here. Nice. Beekeeping, monastic meals, the stone church. Oh, I want the stone church. That looks amazing for the new part of town. That's so cool. Couriers approaching. There's new villagers approaching. All right, we can now build the stone church. Not going to do that yet, but we'll do that as soon as we can and have the need for it. Oh, that's going to be good. I like it. Ah, this church is now completely ready. Oh, I love this. This really gives it like a church ground feel to it. I like it. I like it. Let's keep it as it is. All right, he's going to go to the tavern. A monument to the fate. Build a stone church. Yeah, that's some of the things that we want to do. So yeah, we can accept that mission. No problem. We'll get to a church at some point. Just have to be a little bit patient. We can see the amount of meat is now growing. We have good amounts of fish. We have some bread. Hopefully, we'll get some extra now that we get uh, the extra farm up. But hey, later on, I want another extra farm. Maybe somewhere in the back here. We do need all the farmland we can get to keep up with the demand, of course. All right. Sorry, had a little cough there. I think we should um, cut this off and tell people that they can't walk here and here because now they're just squashing this field in half and uh, that's not really what I want. So let's do it a little bit like this and tell them that they cannot walk right here. And we'll tell them that they can't walk right here. Then these farmers will have to get out and go that way. But at least then this road might disappear. And that's basically what I'm hoping for. Another trick, of course, is to get working on the decos. And start to set up this wall a bit more. And I guess that's what I'm going to do straight off now. Uh, I have to build the farm first. I have to click the farm first to really see where to feel this. Yes. Nope. <laughs> My mistake. Have to keep that open. Now let's go to this one. There we go. All right. Now both these things should help the people to uh, start wandering around the field. I'm not getting straight on the, through the field because that's wasting a lot of my uh, a lot of my good weed, as well as the trees are. So I also really want those trees removed at some point. But I guess this should already help quite a bit. Yes, let's build it. And maybe we should do the same on the front here already. Um, I still have the weed farm clicked, but I can't see the zone anymore. There it is. That was a bit weird. Um, There we are. I'm going to leave this road opening, though, because it would be good if people could just... If the farmers could just use that piece of road to get in. But... Uh, I just don't want it to be... Uh, fully accessed by all other people because that's just not good all right there we go for now let's keep it like this this is okay we can we can work on this later but this is a reoccurring project every now and then we do this but now i want to focus on all the rest because we got two extra miners ready now we have just one person available i think we missed a couple of newcomers i did not click them to stay so that's one of the things that happens every now and then Sometimes I wish those newcomer notifications would be a little bit bigger or something like that. But also, I guess I just have to pay close enough attention to all those messages. And sometimes they slip through a bit. But we're, I think we're doing okay with this little village. And they're busy here with the stone industry. Nothing is ready yet, but this is almost ready. We have the first stone cutter camp up. That's good. Now that's a good reason to already shut down the first one here. So yes, let's destroy this one. There we go. Now they should all go into uh, this one. And I'm going to keep this open now. So that I can see that they're all in there. Before I assign people other jobs. Otherwise we might assign experienced miners into a different job. That's not what I want. There's three in there. So there's two more that need to get in there. 
This one is not done yet, I think. Nope. It's waiting for a builder, so it's not even going to get built soon. Yes, I want those newcomers in. But we're not going to give them a job until all the old miners got their new job in there. There's four. And now just one more. And we're there. Just have to wait and see. Usually, once you get them out of a job like that, they will finish their job, then they will go to the house, get some food, get a drink, and then they will start to look for another job and get to that mine. That's why it's taking a bit, uh, which is fine. I don't really care. It's just we have to be a bit patient. But there was five in the other one, so there should be one more soon enough finding a job there. Or he's living too far away and he's not going to find a job. That is also a small possibility. I think he will. And maybe we can... Oh, yeah. Five miners in there now. All right. So the people that we have available... Ooh, what's their problem? Unable to find a house close enough to my workplace. Where are you? Oh, he's working all the way there. Yeah, that's going to be tough. All right. We have another stone cutter camp done. Let's get rid of this one then. Destroy. I think we should start to uh, empty this one out too. So no new stuff gets in there. And then now we keep our eyes on this one. All right, three out of the five. Five out of the five. Very good. They're all in there already. I wish they would build this first, though. So that we can start to store there and then put workers in there. That will be probably be very good. And then we'll get rid of these later on. But this should already be helpful. Um... Let's see, it's a woodcutter and a forager that cannot get a house. That's the forager that works all the way up here. Uh, but I think if we start to build a village here, they can get a house there too. Especially if we make it a little bit like this. So that should be fine. I'm going to buy this territory too, so that we can use this space a little bit as well. And then I think we should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. Newcomers. Yep, yeah, there's newcomers. Um, but now... Yeah, they're still busy here. Waiting for a builder, waiting for a builder. Somebody's bringing 15 planks. There she is, I guess. Are they still doing construction work? Eh? Yes, we can get two miners in there. Alright, so we have two people waiting to get a job. We have two people that will kick out of a job soon, as soon as those buildings are ready. And I guess we have the same with this. We need to give these people a new transportation job soon. As soon as that transport area is up. Because these are the experienced transporters. We need to get those guys in here. Interesting. We'll wait until it's done. And then I'm going to just tell these people to go do a different transporting job, I guess. I don't know if it works that way. But we'll find out. I don't really care about the transporters, though. They'll build up their experience fairly quickly by transporting all the goods around so we should not worry about that too much the newcomer too i think will be arriving in the center of town soon there we go one two you're most welcome how is this looking ah it's getting better and better let's go to our monastery let's build the monastery church here first. So we're going to start with a chapel. Needs to be a sizable chapel, I think. One, two. And oh wow, this needs to be quite bigger because it's, it's way to the back. Okay. It also needs a church tower, of course. To actually be a church. Could also place the tower on the side, make it a little different than usual. And also give it a facade in the front. I think that might actually be interesting because that gives it just a little bit different look. Then we put in a door here. Or should we put the door here in the... Uh, in the chapel? Hmm, not sure. I think we'll put the door up there. Okay. So this is the start of the monastery. We still have to build the nun dorms and the monk dorms and stuff like that. But we'll find out later. At least we have a start now. So that's good. They can start to build that. 
That's another part of the process and the progress that we're making. We still have one wounded soldier. We have one good soldier now. Level one. And we have four people without a job. Hmm. This is still busy. All right, I have an idea. Let's go in here. Do one, two, three, four. Now we have nine soldiers all of a sudden. We'll give them a weapon so that they can start to train. So that we can do more missions. Most of the missions require five people, especially the easy ones. So we can do with only those five. So that would be okay. All right, let's go in here. Let's, because right now we don't have any available people. So what will happen is I click this one. If I kick two workers out, like this, Gerhaus and Margaret, and I put them in here, they should now start to be working here. Yes. Very good. All right. Now we set this to have stone, stone, polished stone and polished stone. This one will be emptied out soon. Uh, I'm going to get Guntard out of here too, so that we already get three in there. So they will empty this out and they're actually doing that already. Getting it in there. Then we get the last one out of here. I think we can already do that too, by the way. Nietzsche. Quite a name for a... Uh, transporter i guess so this one is completely filled up now all the transporter transporters went there and as soon as this is emptied out we can destroy it or leave it but i think i'm going to destroy it although this has no negative impact so we could also just leave it and put some nice goodies in there i don't think we have a warehouse for this oh yeah there it is all right so yeah we're just gonna destroy it for now i think or we can put some extra clothing and stuff in here that might actually be good if we put some clothing in here. It's close to the market, so they can easily pick it up. And that saves a lot of transport space. Although the other one's here. But hey, we can actually store some extra clothing in here. So yeah, let's accept these two. Just have to get workers in here soon then. These two are still finishing up. We can wait with that. Let's leave that open. Do we get new workers? Yes. One, two. Oh, we'll leave them be. We'll leave them be. I wonder if the finishing up of those two takes so long. Because they are delivering the goods to the other place. I don't really know. What is she doing? Going all the way up there. Maybe carrying the uh, goods that it needs. That could be the case. Yeah, they're, they're carrying the polished stone out of this one. Very good. Alright, well, let's put clothing in here. We can always later switch to things like common wares and stuff so that it's all close to the market. But for now, let's just stock it up with clothing so that we have more and more clothing. They're going to put everything in here. Great job. Well done. All the goods are in there. This one is emptied out. I like it. Now they probably return here and then say goodbye to this job. I think I can already do two new ones in there just to... Get it active for the clothing pickup. Alright, that works. That's a good trade-off, I guess. And now we should see... Oh, these two are still here. Let's see. Is one of these ready? Yes. So let's get rid of this one. Destroy. Yep, one stonemason in there. He immediately switched. That was fast. And I think we should already see a decrease. Yeah, now it's only this one small circle for that building. And as soon as we remove that one, because the last one is ready, up there, we'll be done with the negative here. Guess that will make some people happy. And we can do this a bit more like that. Oh yes, that's good. Um, now we are busy with the monastery here. Oh, they're actually really fast with that. We are not doing anything with the um, castle yet. And I believe this is also done. Yes. So, once this building is done, I think we can start to work a little marketplace here and get going with um, some housing there. Now we just need to wait for the stonemason hut message. There it is. All right, let's destroy this one. There we go. Let's now get going with a little market here so that we can build some houses here. Uh, that's just a tent. That might not be the best to start. Alright. 
Food. 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 Put in a good stall in the middle. Here. And maybe one here too. And then we'll go to this side for some extra food. One, two, three, four types of food. I think that should be good enough for now. Uh, I'm going to put this one on this side too. I guess. I guess we need to make it some lot more symmetrical. Yeah, something like that. We're not going to build the biggest market here. I was aiming a bit too big, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, why can't I start now? There we go. Build. Very good. Then we also, but that's one of the things I usually forget. We also need a well somewhere here for them to get drinks from. Then we have everything. And that makes it so that we can tell the people that they can actually build a house around these markets. And they're eager to get started because I already see the first houses popping up. There's one already. So they're quite eager to build their house here. Well, let's see how this goes. There's another one. There's another one. So these people really want to live somewhere. Two newcomers request an audience. Don't miss out on that. The house is upgrading. Also very nice. And we got two extra transporters in. Perfect. And we're already getting close in here. So we should see this number go up soon. Oh, very good. Is this the uh, yeah, house density one? All right, that's fine. Uh, this is going to take quite a while to build, but it is so much worth it building the extra town. And then we can also do a stone church there. It doesn't have to be too big. Just a nice stone church will do. Missing raw materials. Yeah, that's probably the case in the farm or right here. Uh, they have plenty of raw materials. I guess this one is missing raw materials. We have a lot of wheat now. And there's still more incoming. I just don't know if this is... Can this one do it all on its own? I'm not sure. I guess we could use an extra windmill here. Let's just build another one. Deal with all the wheat that we now produce. That's good. Well, so far, this is all looking very interesting and very good. Uh, in terms of berries are slowly growing. Fish is slowly growing. We are slowly getting some extra meat. Bread is more than we had before. We're getting more clothing now. We have some of the industries removed from the town here. So that we can get a couple of extra houses here. Closer to where people live. And the best part is right here. Where we can now get a lot of houses close to where people live. That will make them more happy. All the unhappiness now is from taxes. And uh, I don't mean the state of taxes. But I mean the taxes that we are raising. So I'm okay with them not being so happy with my taxes. So uh, I don't mind. Let's sell some berries here. I don't think we, no, we have nobody available. But as soon as we do we can put people in the market tending business here. Let's sell some stuff. There comes another house. We actually are good now with the iron ore. We have plenty of coal. So the uh, iron smelter can really work. It's magic. We'll get all of this done. I'm happy with this town. I'm happy now. This is way better. I'm going to leave this stone um, click though. Because if for some reason they have to get some stones from elsewhere. They can just go here and get the stones. I will turn it off later, but um, for now I'll leave it on. Do we have jobs? Yeah, we have that one market tender job. There's a newcomer. So that is a good thing. That means that we uh, can put it in these businesses here. But as soon as another job is done, you never know which one they will take. So we'll have to find out soon. Just leave it as it is and accept. Oh, there's two actually. That's great. Maybe we should build a granary there too for the food, of course, to uh, be stored. Yep, here we get another workplace, another one with food. So let's get a market tender in there too. They can only store so much now, but later on that will be better. But I think we'll have to build a granary here. To um, accommodate for all the different types of food here. Of course we have to make sure then that we, uh, we get all those types of food. So that we can actually provide it to the markets there. But uh, that should not be too hard. So that's working out. So 
step by step you need to develop your town in foundation it's not like you can just build a town very quickly but especially because of the relatively slow immigration system where you just get like one two three four newcomers sometimes you get five and that's just making it so you just can't build like 10 houses in a row and um attract like in austria where you just built 10 houses they all attract new people and you get the new people that you need for all the new jobs you have to be a little bit more patient but that's what i love about this game there's one thing i want to check in the trade screen can we unlock a new trade route nope not yet so that's all good and then i'm going to call it a day for this little episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so please subscribe to my channel Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. And bye-bye.